What about Erica Girardi, Erica Jane, and Erica Jane and Tom Girardi? I, I have known Tom Girardi for many decades. He was a leading plaintiff's lawyer. Uh, did a great job for many, many victims of all kinds of wrongful acts. And this is so sad what has happened to him, but even sadder for many of his clients who allege that he misappropriated their funds, uh, victims of airplane crashes, uh, victims' families and so forth. Um, that is a no-no in for any state bar, for any lawyer, put it in plain English, that a lawyer must segregate, that is put in a separate account, client trust account, funds that are due to the client, like settlement funds, mm -hmm. and must not touch them, must not take loans for personal use of the lawyer against those funds, uh, even thinking, oh, they'll repay them one day. Lawyers can lose their license to practice law. If they do that, Tom Girardi has lost his license to practice law. Michael Avenatti has had his bar license suspended uh, in California. Uh, he's been convicted of you know, felony crimes. So, you know, it is very sad. I've seen many, many high profile lawyers uh, essentially take the fall. <laughs> the trap door opens and they fall through because they take unacceptable risks. Um, I think I'm one of the few high profile lawyers who have survived for 45 years and is still practicing. I mean, I can name many who are not um, because we believe in ethics. We believe in following our ethical duties, which are mandated for lawyers. We don't get anywhere near that ethical line and take risks. We stay far away from it. Any decision we make, we resolve in, in favor of our clients. When any money comes in for our clients through settlements, and money's coming in every day for our clients through settlements, uh, or as a result of judgments in a court of law, uh, in advance, we have our clients wiring information, and we, we wire it right out as soon as it comes in to the client. So there's never going to be an issue. Uh, because they're going to get their money right away and they're not going to be any excuses about why they can't have it. I mean, are you shocked knowing Tom? Like you said, you knew him for, like, does this shock you just because you knew I, him? I am shocked. I actually had lunch with Tom, um, I think it was early 2019, uh, as I recollect, or maybe it was 2018. Uh, he wanted to have lunch with me for some reason I didn't really know. Uh, but I said, okay, I don't usually go out at lunch. I sit at my desk and I would just work through the day and have my lunch at my desk while that I'm- doesn't shock me. Well, I'm responding to emails. Uh, I don't like to be going out and taking time away from my work in the middle of the day, but he asked me, so I said, okay, I'll go across the street with you. Uh, he wanted me to take, take me to some big fancy restaurant in Beverly Hills. I said, I don't want to go. I don't have the time. I was told- He'll send a car for you. I said, I don't need a car. I'll walk across the street. That's all I do. I can't take any more time than that. I have to take care of my clients. So anyway, he came down. We, we went to a little place across the street from my office, and we had a very pleasant lunch. And that's it. I have never seen him after that. And I just feel sorry for Tom, but I feel sorrier for his clients. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Have you ever met Erica, his wife? I don't think I've ever met Erica, but the allegation is that he has given her funds or funds were transferred to her, that it was a sham divorce, which I don't know if it was sham, it might've been a real divorce. And that she has funds that should have gone to some of the clients. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just the allegation. Um, and, but, you know, it, there, you know, I'm sure that there are many lawyers who are going to make sure that there is accountability here, and um, and so we'll have to see what happens. I don't want to make any judgments in advance. 